All right, Commodore 64 here. We're back. A while ago, I got a request to take a look at the Commodore versions of the first two episodes of Genius. It's the adaptation of the rock opera by... I always worry that I'm going to butcher the man's name, Daniele Liverani. And I have files here for the first two episodes, so we'll take a look at them here. Genius into the toy warehouses. So I looked at this on... Apple II uh, some time ago, over a year ago, I believe. Press space, play with key, J with play with joystick, okay. So this creator of this is an accomplished musician and uh, made these games and it's a pretty cool thing it's definitely well beyond the scope of what I can do so as genius you go around and collect these keys and then the doors will change color And when you collect the clock, you move on to the next stage. So, nice music, graphics are nice. The controls seem to be super good. You gotta avoid these bombs, obviously. That's bad news if you get hit by that. Okay. There was a thing I had with the Apple version of this where I would get hung up a little bit on the geometry, but so far that hasn't seemed to happen here. Oh, get away. Okay. Double getaway. There we go. Turn this up a little bit on my end here. Okay. And it just gets more complex as you go. The doors go in a certain sequence. You have a timer up there in the corner you see and the number of keys you need to complete the level this is dynamite that blows up all the enemies which is a nice bonus because now we can just collect this clock at our leisure. So we'll do this and then we'll look at episode two. This is uh in Vice under NTSC settings, but I always run games in PAL in CCS. I don't know why, I just always have. So we'll try and look at it after that in PAL, just see if there's, you know, obviously speed differences or whatever, but. Oh, the bomb got me. It would be pretty cool to be able to just walk in the sky like this. But I guess that's the the thing about the world of dreams. You could do anything, right? So now we collect the drum. Alright, one more level.
Oh, the shark. I forgot about the shark. So I feel kind of bad because right now it's May 10th and uh, I actually got the request to look at these message asking if I could in December, like one day before I moved. I was like, at that point I had already like packed everything away and wasn't sure when I was going to have time to do it and uh, Pretty sure it was. Pretty sure it was then. Ah, oh, get there. Nice. Oh, I got blown up. Uh oh. Would still count? Okay, it still counts. Cool. All right, so let's fire up the other, the other game here. Genius Two. Into the toy caves. So as you can see, it's 2017, so I'm slow getting to it, unfortunately. So apologies for that, but time is running out. Genius was find a way to save the little prince, but how? Okay, G with joystick. So similar gameplay but different different uh, enemies. Oh, I died. Got a little overzealous there. Now that I think about it, I might not have a controller set up in CCS. Well, we'll see. If not, we can at least look at the graphics. Let's see what the speed is, like I said. Come on out of there. Thank you. Nope. Oh gosh. I'm dead. Ah. So that key made the like fire go off of this so we could go down in here. So it's a fun thing, you know, as a, a add-on to an existing uh, project in a whole, in another medium, you know.
have a feeling it's going to want me to go all the way down in the corner after this one. Yep. But there's plenty of time, so we're good. I'll wait till this guy goes the other way. Look at that. Top player strats. Oh yeah, you know what? Die. Nice. One thing I didn't see in this version, either game, is uh, maybe I didn't play far enough in. There was a padlock you could run into that would randomly appear, or maybe it just didn't randomly appear. But if you touched it, it would make all the doors reappear, and you'd have to collect the keys all over again. So that's probably a good thing that that's not there because that was like, oh man, you always felt bad if you grabbed that one. The time is usually generous enough that you didn't have to worry about it, but still, it's like, ah oh, man. Now watch I say that, it'll be here. I don't know, there's just, I guess if you wait long enough, maybe he'll go down. Uh, Alright, we'll knock out this level and then check out uh, Pal, just to see. I'm curious. It may be identical, but I would assume the running speed would be different. Oh shit. Whoops. Sure ran right into him, didn't I? But now there's basically no enemies. Works out pretty good. I haven't found myself getting hung up on platforms or anything, which is nice. Well, the rock is uh, impervious. I like that part, going down in the water, that's cool. Okay, so now let's switch over to CCS. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, let's uh, fit it to the screen. There we go. All right, load and run. Where are you? Genius, okay. Yeah, sometimes with PAL and NTSC, it's there's like a little audio crack and stuff. That might be me uh, emulating it poorly. It feels super fast in this. There are some games that if you switch between region, like you try to run a, say a, a PAL disk on an NTSC Commodore, it will not work at all.
but usually it's the PAL version that runs slower. So I'm not sure this actually feels super good. Oh gosh, is it gonna get me? Okay. The uh, the Apple one was pretty smooth. Alright, one more level, and then we'll check out part two. Come out of there. No, come out of there. Oh jeez. Ah. video It feels super fast, I like it. Oh. Alright, we'll do this one and then we'll call it a video. So, you know, I think these are neat. I'm glad that stuff like this exists. This guy has a, a vision for this project that he's working on and he made it, you know. As opposed to, like me, I think of stuff and then I just sit around and don't do it. <laughs> well, yeah, I should do that and I don't, but he did. And it's cool. I'm glad that he's right here. There are also uh, Commodore Plus files, but I'm not actually sure how to emulate those, so if I find out how, I'll come back, but I've never looked at Commodore Plus anything, so, uh, but yeah, this is Genius Episode 1 and 2 on the Commodore, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the Raka Opera guys page and all that, but, uh, yeah, I think these are cool, but that's it for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and go, so I'll see you later, thanks for watching.